Digital is really important for the University College of Estate Management because we are a fully online school so we have no campus based students at all and we deliver to over 100 countries. So in order to meet our sustainability guidelines it's really important that that textbook is a good experience for the students so not only can they download it and not have to carry their book around and thus not ship it around the world but it also means that they can highlight and take notes and share those with their tutors and their colleagues. Uh, digital is very important to our, our organisation, increasingly so. Students are looking for new ways to access Cortex. The university is looking to ways to improve its student experience and student satisfaction. And we feel that digital textbooks is a real sort of plus point and a real sort of growth area for us. This year's gone pretty easily, I think. Um, been able to integrate everything with the uh, Moodle easily and uh, working with the publishers and working with vital sources all gone smoothly. Well I think digital is important for our organisation because um, first of all we're trying to make sure that we provide relevant and uh, up-to-date resources to our students and we also want to make sure that our students improve their digital literacy in general. We think that it's important for the students to uh, finish the degree being more confident in using uh, digital resources. And so we offer virtual learning environments as well as the e-books and we try to use novel technologies like simulation. Digital is incredibly important to our organisation. It's a key part of what our customers are asking for us uh, frequently in terms of how they can make our products available to their students in a more interactive fashion. So mainly we do that by going down a digital route. While people do still enjoy hard copy textbooks, increasingly with the improved technology and e-books, um, the students are becoming more and more uh, in, in, in tune with that and enjoying using that and the potential for interactivity that has been discussed today um, I think will only increase the, the usage and increase the um, perception of students that you know they enjoy e-books quite as much as uh, hard copy text. So we've got a wealth of content available at AUP that we want to make sure that we can disseminate. It's part of our mission to make sure we disseminate that knowledge as much as possible. Um, and we want to do it in a format that's most suitable really for, for the students and for the, for the universities. And we're finding more and more that digital is the way to do that. Um, today's been really useful just to find out how people have used the um, use Vital Source platform to get their information, their content um, and accessibility as well, which is a key thing for us at AUP. I was fascinated by the uh, technology for creating accessible ebooks. That would be another thing that uh, I would like to try using within the institution for publishing our own resources that we develop within the institution and making, them, making sure that they are accessible and uh, delivered through the platform that students are familiar with. We're doing a lot of work around accessibility ourselves at the moment, so looking at what uh, Vital Source platform can do to help us with making sure that everything's fully accessible to our students is also really important. We often regard students as being digital natives these days, uh, such that they won't really need any help with using digital product. So they actually need a lot of support and encouragement to get the best out of uh, using an ebook program. The new interactivity um, elements um, with the GPS, Vital Source Bookshelf GPS, I think that's really going to be uh, something that hopefully universities will get behind and I think from our point of view it allows where potentially it's not worth the investment for um, you know smaller textbooks to have these um, interactive features but actually the students will still benefit from them. It gives us a lot more flexibility to create things that students actually want and to, to help um, lecturers engage their students more. I think what really you know came out this morning is how the sector is moving on. There's more and more libraries, more and more institutions. You know, we get a lot of queries from other libraries asking to know what we're doing. I think that's reflected in, you know, the maps and sort of, you know, the first presentations that were shown. It's absolutely valuable for me to um, take time out to, to come to a day like this. We get to speak to people who are so, um, involved within digital publishing and within the wider HE environment to get to hear from students, from librarians and to see things from other people's perspectives. I just think it's useful just to find that other experience from other institutions plus find out what the latest developments are from vital source. So I think from the educational perspective interactivity adds a big value to uh, the teaching process I suppose.